it's very hard for a trans woman to of date course. as well. Um, it goes well. Like they, they, they text you and they say, "Oh, I like your pictures. You look very nice." Um, get talking, and then I think, "Well, they must have recognised me because I do put my own picture up and keep talking." I and then I, I think, "Do you know what? I don't want to embarrass anyone. I don't want to embarrass myself." So I will, I will tell them. So I, yeah. I say, "I have to tell you that I'm actually a trans woman," and it sort of goes dead, okay. and they and they stop. And there was one that I was sort of talking to quite a while, he was quite keen. And I actually forgot to tell him I was a trans woman, because uh, we got on so well in conversation. Because I'm sort of unique, I can talk a little bit about sport, which men find quite interesting. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> You're a cat, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So it's quite interesting. And um, we got talking, and I said, oh, I said, I've got to tell you, I actually carry quite a bit of baggage. And he sort of said, oh, I'm very open-minded, we all carry baggage. I've been divorced and I've been... Um... And I went... Yeah, I said, I've done all that. I said, but I've got a bit more baggage. And he, and he texted me and he said, will you phone me? So I thought, oh, do you know what? I, yeah, and I got brave and I phoned him, so we were talking. And he, he said, I'd like to meet for a coffee. And I went, OK. I said, but I must tell you about the baggage I carry. And he went, no, no, don't worry about it. I went, no, I said, I think it's best I tell you. I said, have you heard of, um, that, of Kelly Maloney? And he went, that effing boxing promoter, that cut off his effing... And I went... No. Yeah, I said, um, that boxing promoter happens, that baggage I carry happens to be Kelly Maloney. He went, how can I ever go out of you? What would people think? And the phone just went dead. Oh, <laughs> wow. That yeah. must have really hit hard. That, that sort of knocked me back a little bit. Um, yeah. And I, I sort of left it for a while. Then I got a bit, I'm a bit brave again. And um, yeah. I, I started talking and chatting to people again. I've, I've been out of a couple of... Did well, go what about the guy from Sex and the City? I know. <laughs> I We're love that. I love to know that one. <laughs> um, Lincoln, his name was. Lincoln. There we go. <laughs> nice. And? And carry on. <laughs> You're not <laughs> you, leaving you can until be honest. So. Um, well, we, he, we met because he wanted to write a play about my life. OK. And um, he said, I'd like to take you out, Kelly, and get to know you. We went out about three or four times for dinner. If I'm honest, he's a little bit boring. <laughs> I hope he's not watching this. Um, <laughs> Kelly, who paid? Well, that was the embarrassing part about it. Who paid? <laughs> I'm going to come to the story. So <laughs> he said, you can choose where to go. So I wanted to go to Langham's, because I always yeah, went there as, yeah. as Frank. And I thought, you know what, why should I hide? I'm going to go yeah. back to these places, because they're, nice they're full of characters. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So we go there, and we're chatting, and we're talking, and then we've had this lovely meal. We've had a bottle of champagne and everything else. And I think, oh, it's not bad. And um, all of a sudden, the bill came, and he went, Oh, I haven't got that sort of money. <gasps> I went, I went. Well, look, I don't want to embarrass you, and I don't want to embarrass me. I said, so there's my, and I slipped. I said, there's my credit card, and I said, this is my pin number, but you pay it and, and put ten percent on for the bill. So the guy came, and the waiter came, who I knew, the major d, and he was, did you enjoy it, Kelly? I said, it was really nice. I'll be coming back regular. What's he put? And he went, Kelly, I forgot your pin number. I was like, oh. <laughs> Better men than that. And can I tell you, I've got girlfriends that have had that happen to as well, so you are not alone. That's really interesting that you brought that up, Janet, about who paid. Because are there parts of your personality that you've had to change? Because as a man, and as quite a forthright man, you must be used to going, right, I'll take the tab, and yeah, well, I'll, having to sit back and allow men to well, look one of the greatest, you. One of the great things was I went to a party at Millwall Football Club, yeah. um, and, and all the boys were there, and they were really nice to you me. You went to Millwall, I can't believe you're that brave. I thought, <laughs> yeah, they, they loved me at Millwall, they sing nice songs about me. <laughs> <laughs> I took my dad to Millwall once where, uh, when they were playing Fulham and we sat in the director's box and when Fulham got a corner, my dad stood up and went, Fulham, I went, out of here right now. <laughs> yeah. I was terrified. So we're there and they're, and they're really all like, really nice guys. I mean, Moore's yeah. got this image, but then, then it, it's, some of it's wrong. I mean, they're just hard South London guys and they've yeah. been brought up that way and they live in their own world. And, it's and we're all at the bar and we're always buying drinks. So I said... Oh, and I said to the... And they all sort of they pushed me with the Y, so I always stand with the Y, so... <laughs> so I went over to... And I, and I was going to get a round of drinks for the girls, and I said to the guys, um, oh, what would you like? And one of them looked at me and went, are you effing joking? <laughs> I went, what, I want to try to buy a drink? He went, no. I said, I've always buy drinks when I'm at meal. He went, I've never had a drink of a woman in 50 years, and I'm not <laughs> oh, starting now. Go back over there. So, nice. And that was really nice. nice. That was nice, yeah. <laughs> Um, dating. <laughs> Have you not ever thought of bring, bringing out like a transgender dating site? Yeah, I'm actually talking with someone, and we're thinking about doing that now because that way you would get serious people. Because there are yeah. there are some websites where trans people go, and I won't say it because it, it's 
quite a lot of people on there and they may not want to be no noticed. But it's... Um, and they're called admirers and they're quite weird men. Yes. They have these yeah. obsessions. And one I got talking to and he said, oh, I'd like to go out of you. I'd like to keep going out of you. But I won't go out of you if you have the operation and have it cut off. And I'm thinking... Well, I'm a woman. I, that's you know. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I, I, I've got to have this operation. This is my journey. This is my life. Yeah. You know, and, and and it's a bit like that. So I'd I'd like to do one where men understand yeah. and are quite open minded. But you've got to find a man that's very confident in himself because mm. he's got to be confident because it it does affect everything. Mm. Like, I mean, I've got to tell my children. I mean, I will get questioned after yeah, this show. Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> and then it affect affects family. him with yeah. his family. He's got to be able to say, do you know the person I'm going out with that mm. I really like. Actually, used to be a man before. So you, you've you've had the full operation. You are you are a woman in every sense of the word. Um, are, you, are you 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 must be incredibly nervous because obviously dating is one thing, but that could lead to intimacy. Yeah, that does worry me, and I, yeah. I'm not sure if I want if I want a shall we say a full on relationship yeah. or a companion. I was going to ask. Uh, so yeah, that, yeah. Do yeah. you want an intimacy relationship? Or? I don't know. Yeah, I, I I think I've. Going through chapters of my life, the first chapter was coming to terms with myself, which mm. I've done. The second chapter was going out and being accepted as Kelly and yeah. being not which yeah. I have. And the third chapter is, do I, do I want someone in my life? Will I be able to handle someone in my life? Or am I happy living on my own? I've been on my own now for seven years and mm. I'm quite content. I've got a very good social life. I mean, I go out, you know, I, I get taken out to dinner by, but as friends. Yeah. But I'm always the gooseberry. They're always in couples and I'm the odd one. <laughs> Just click here to watch more interviews with a whole range of famous faces. And click here to subscribe. It's free, so you'd be silly not to, really. People would say to me, well, would you hang out together? I thought, well, I've just spent 19 hours with yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the time I was married, I would get up, it would be dark. I'd get home, it'd be dark. Yeah. I would leave in the morning, he'd be asleep. I'd get back, he'd be asleep. Yeah. We're no longer married. <laughs> <laughs>